Okay, what we're going to do here, hang on a sec. Um, we're going to, um, in order to help you guys produce your floor plans, we're actually going to insert the JPEG and then you can work off of that. Okay, so we're going to basically scale the plan so that you can do all these weird things that the dimensions, like not all of them are dimensions, so you can just align it to those visually for now. Um, so it's actually remarkably easy. You just have to go up to insert and then go to image. Um, and I placed our images under um, CAD Lab, K okay, Grenling, 147, 247, drawing sets, JPEG. Okay. And the floor plan for you 147 folks is on page 10. Boom. So that's your floor plan. Um, it's, I'll show you the location here, um, JPEG. So it's, it's in our class folder under drawing sets where you picked up the drawings and it's just under JPEG. Okay, so um, here's something that I think is incredibly important for scaling drawings like this. You must, in almost any case, use the longest dimension you can possibly find. Okay, because if you go to a micro dimension, like a five foot dimension, you might be off. And in fact, let's try it. So I'm going to scale this drawing from here to this grid line. And it started off as 15 feet, but I'm going to say four feet, six inches, right? So I scale it down. Uh, and I'll show you guys in more detail um, how to do the scaling. Um, but let me measure. I'm going to use this little measuring tool. And I'm going to go from this grid line to this grid line. So we got 78 feet, and, oh, and 31 and 256. Wow, that actually worked out pretty well. I did that better than I thought I would. <laughs> Never mind, point not proven. Myth not busted. So um, anyway, key part for this is um, these things are actually going to show up in the background generally, I think is the default. Um, you need to place it so that it's, um, we're going to um, take the grid line A, we're going to put it on that. And then we're going to move grid line um, E, and we're going to put it on that. And you can nudge these with the arrows, OK? So I just want to be clear about that. What image number was it? Uh, 10. OK, so just to show you guys again real quick how that works, I'm going to pull 10 in again. And I want to, um, I'm going to show you that scaling feature again. Okay, so the way scaling works in Revit, you click the scale button. It's that one right there, little box in a box. And then you click your um, the first part that you're going to scale from. So you click a reference dimension. So I clicked on the left-hand side. I'm going to click on the right-hand side. And I'm going to um, type in. Notice if I move my mouse, it's scaling a little bit. I'm just going to type in what I want that value to be, which was um, 78 feet, was it? Yeah, 78 feet. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's under modify, and it's this little button right there. Or you can type in RE is the hotkey for it. All right, so um, guys, I do also want to, with something like this, I want to just make sure you guys are aware, extra aware. Even though I said it, I said it very fast. You can nudge things using the arrows. Another thing that Revit does that no other program did because they wanted to be hyper accurate, Revit doesn't need to be that kind of accurate. So once you put put this thing in place, if it's not exactly right, let me just kind of get it like that. So let's say let's say you place it and it looks like that, right? The grid lines aren't exactly aligned. You just take the arrow button and just kind of nudge it into place. Okay? Super cool stuff. All right. So now I can see where those walls were a little bit off. Um, I'm going to modify these. So I'll pull this wall in there. Um, this wall has got to come back here. This wall is going, whoops, that was the drawing. This wall is going to go, I keep doing that. That wall is going to go there. And this wall right there. Cool. Okay. So that's what I suggest you guys do while you're working through this. Remember, the grids are going to be critical, they need to be aligned as accurately as you can get them, and then just start working off of that. What questions do you have? Uh, oh, yeah, it's the insert.
tab. So go up to insert and then go to image. Okay. All right.